Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Noted and today we're going to talk about how to control the recoil. A lot of people will ask me uh, when they see me playing and what is the best way to control the recoil and everything else. So let's get into it. So the first thing that I do like when I'm practicing or anything, I, I like to come up here as, as a jet and I like to control the recoil like this. Of course, you can use the infinite ammo, but try to like kill those four things. But you do this you gotta understand the mechanics of the recoil so that's what i want to talk about uh, with you guys so the mechanics of the recoil is pretty simple it's gonna make a seven pretty much a seven and you gotta do the opposite path so the the opposite pathway and it's not it's not always exactly the same this is one there's is randomic as you guys can see right now is yeah i see now it's randomic see Sometimes it's a little bit less, sometimes but pretty much what you need to do is to super separate those two things. So imagine a line over here, over here, so this line. <clears throat> One line is the upper line and the the second line after this is this, like the one that goes uh, left and right, right? So separating those two things, you're gonna understand that you need to first pull down to a limited amount, which is like this, very limited amount. So the first three bullets, the first three bullets tend to go perfect and then you pull down, right? It's pretty much like CS. First three bullets perfect and then you pull down. But after the pull down part, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pull down and let it run. So you guys can see, I pull down, bang. See, it goes left and right. So I pull down, left, right. Pull down, left, right. So it's pretty much you gotta do the opposite. So you gotta pull down and you gotta go right and left, right? So pull down, that's that's the recoil, I'm not controlling anything. Pull down, left, right. So to do the opposite, pull down, right, left. Pull down, right, left. Sometimes it goes more to the left. Pull down, right, left. So there's a timing, pull down, right, left. There's a little bit of timing. This is like, you guys need to like, pretty much, get used to it you know like to the timing and after you get used to it you can do the spray transfer which is like this so this spray transfer over here that's what you want because if you have a good spray transfer in this distance for example this is pretty much like a much like a bomb site fight like if someone entering the bomb site and you can can you like do like this and like spray here here and come to here like for example there's a good training that i like to do uh is this one I think it's a great training. Of course, it's not gonna be this all the time, but it's good to like be able to control and, and move the mouse at the same time, you know what I mean? And after that, uh, the best way to practice is, of course, those targets over here are really good, but I think the best way to practice is from far further distances. That way you're gonna get used to uh, how it is, how, it, how, how the recoil works when you transfer. And you can there's a lot of ways to shoot in this game uh if you walk for example your bullets are super accurate this is something that some people don't know like if you walk like this you can literally spray a wall look like with no problem it shouldn't be like this like if you walk like this it should it shouldn't be like this you know like that's just my opinion though but this is one of mechanics that you can kind of get advantage in this game you know, like, they, they can walk and shoot at the same time. It's not that accurate when you're doing like this and spraying, but when you're tapping, it is very accurate. Um, another style is the bursting, right? So, that's the bursting. Like, three bullets, four bullets. The bursting in this game is super, super accurate. So, so if, if you can do like this, like, get this amount of bullets together... That's pretty much like that's a kill so if you see someone and you can get like a, a little spray like this it's pretty much a kill right uh the other thing is that when you control the recoil you always need to remember that when it goes to the sides the compensation is by feeling so you gotta you gotta come here you gotta come here and spray a lot so you can understand the feeling of the compensation and don't matter and as further this distance is the more you need to compensate. For example, if I want to spray over there, right, in the, in the little uh, door, it's super further, so I gotta compensate like this to go uh, 
exactly proper. There is a trick that for a lot of you guys that are new to this game to understand. Uh, you can put the outer line length over here, so you can see where the where you see the the, the this part, like the top part. This is where the recoil will go. Look, see. So this part of here, that's where the recoil will go. So if I'm aiming over there, that's where the recoil will go. So that's where I need to control, right? It's kind of far. This is virtually like not gonna happen in the game. Like just spray like this is way better to burst. But I'm just using this as an explanation so you guys can see that it's possible to control. Look, if you, if the guy is like that far and you can put like five, one, two, three, five shots like this, you you can get a kill. It's possible to control. It's hard, but this is one of this is one of the tricks that uh, you can. If you're new to the game, you can see uh, and use this uh, to understand the record. Uh, right, this is pretty much what I like to do. Uh, I'll be doing more videos talking about like stuff that I like to do. But this is like one of the things that I feel like is super important. Like if you're able to control, like try to come here and just like, you know, spray around, like try to spray the little bots in the back over there. Try to transfer the spray. Try to stick to 30 bullets, of course, because in the game you're just gonna have 30 bullets. I think it's a very effective training. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. I'll be doing more videos like this. So if you guys have any questions about Valorant, let me know. Uh, I'll be answering your questions and everything else. Hope you guys enjoy. See you guys in the next one. Peace.